Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Today we are going to talk about how to paint clouds in Photoshop. First of all, whenever you start working on something, it's always good to get some inspirational material, so to study what you would like to paint. Always, it's always good to focus whenever you practice painting, to focus on specific things like clouds, for example, and as you can see, I just show you a couple of images here uh, as inspiration and just to see the, uh, the variety of colors, uh, the possible colors uh, in the sky and the f the also the endless uh, and really interesting shapes that you can see in clouds. So this is just an inspiration, but it's a good example of how to collect some images to, to use them as a reference and from these references you can you can store these images in your head or just keep them on a separate uh, screen or maybe even print it out and keep it on your desk on, or on your wall and whenever you, you want to paint something it's always good to keep these references and uh, close to you. So uh, now that we looked at these references we can start uh, creating clouds in Photoshop and uh, it will be a fast uh, version a fast uh, the fast version of the recording that I did but you will be able to follow me and uh, in this tutorial I'm just going to create something very simple uh, a very simple uh, composition and with also uh, simple colors but you can always take this a bit further and use more interesting and dramatic colors like what you can see on some of these images here. So let's get started. And as you can see first I start with the gradient which I'm going to use on my background layer. I just set up this gradient, a linear gradient and it's up to you what kind of gradient you use but most of the times it's good to use something darker on the top and brighter on the bottom then I'm going to create another layer and I make a selection on this layer just to fill that area in with uh, a brown color because I would like to have here in the foreground uh, grass or this, this uh, plant so it's like a field and I'm using a brush and I'm just just using scattering on the brush to make sure it's it's um, scattered around and I can draw it e easily and quickly and I'm using also jitters on the angle and size and even on the jitter between the foreground and background colors and now again on a separate layer I started drawing the clouds as you can see I'm just using a simple brush you can obviously click create custom brushes for painting clouds I just intentionally wanted to show that even without a specific custom brush you can create fairly good results with a simple circular brush as you can see I'm using opacity on 30 percent and I'm using a soft edge brush not completely soft edge it's uh, somewhere between the two so it's uh, a soft edge brush but not completely and as you can see I'm changing the color of the brush so if you only draw with white uh, then you won't get a realistic result you should always combine colors like I even used brownish colors on the on the clouds as a reflection of the of the fields the colors of the fields because there's always uh, the colors of the ground always reflected on the clouds and vice versa so it's always good to combine these uh, together and as you can see I'm also using the mixer brush as you've seen it in in previous episodes of this uh, series that's a really useful way to blend colors together that you already have on your layers and the main thing what you need to remember is to use the mixer brush with the sample all layers option that you uh, you see on the top whenever I use this tool and I use also the dodge and the burn tool just to create highlights and shadows on the clouds as you can see I'm using the dodge tool 
on the edges and then again I switch back to the mixer brush tool just to blend again together the details and all these details that I'm using for the clouds are on one layer so I don't use separate layers for it I just have the sky color the back in the background and on the top I have the field and between these two layers I have the clouds and basically now I'm doing the same thing so I'm going through all these clouds with the same technique so painting with colors first with the brush tool then merging them together with the mixer brush tool and uh, using dodge and burn to emphasize uh, or increasing the contrast okay so you can easily see how I do the same thing on all of these clouds on the canvas and again as I said try to be brave with the colors that you use on the clouds if you have a look at again the references that I showed in the beginning or if you just simply search for images online and just type in clouds or dramatic clouds or something like that you can easily find amazing references uh, for color usage and also for the shapes and forms uh, that you can see in the sky again this is a very default um, setting uh, so just very simple shapes and colors on the clouds because I just wanted to make sure that you see how easy it is uh, to create a setting like this and uh, in previous episodes we were talking about custom brushes now obviously for clouds you can easily create your own custom brushes to make the whole process a bit faster and uh, maybe easier but it's always fun to start completely from scratch with a, with a simple brush now you can see that I, I use the mixer brush tool again just to soften out uh, my clouds and it's really important to use the sample or layers option because otherwise you won't be able to mix the colors together the only disadvantage of this tool is that you will um, also have blue colors the colors of the background uh, showing up on the clouds layer so if you later on change your mind and you want to change the background color uh, you will need to affect also um, the clouds layer because the colors are also appearing on that layer that's a disadvantage now you can see how interestingly uh, you can use the dodge tool to create those little details to make it more realistic so I'm just drawing over and I'm making tiny little details adding these tiny little details on the clouds which will make it more realistic you can see in the background I also added some details extra details now again I switch back to uh, mixer brush and then again I'm switching back and forth between these tools so brush mixer brush dodge and burn basically these are the tools that I use for clouds but there are so many different ways and techniques to uh, paint clouds in Photoshop so it's this is just one way to do it and I found this uh, quite simple way to do it and uh, all together this painting took me around half an hour I just made it three times faster than than real time just to uh, see the whole painting process in this tutorial without being boring so you can see again I work over some of the details with the mixer brush blending details together and in this tutorial I'm not really focusing on on advanced color uh, options and and techniques on clouds but if you study clouds you will see that how the colors change on the clouds the further they get from the viewer so you, sh you can also a play with the colors in the distance use different colors there and if you have a foreground with with uh, the ground itself you can use uh, dodge and burn or as I do it separately on a separate layer uh, I use black and white to brighten and darken the ground I just want to 
create the impression of shadows on the ground so the shadows of the of the clouds reflected on the ground and again it's just a nice touch that makes it a bit more interesting and more realistic and with clouds it is really important to try to make your painting uh, random so try to try to make the shapes completely random and you don't need to uh, search for uh, uh, a pattern in them or create a pattern with them as you can see I, I'm trying to increase the con contrast and change the global colors a bit uh, with adjustment layers I'm just used uh, levels to increase the contrast and I, I used a uh, hue saturation to change the colors uh, the only problem with the adjustment layers is that you will have to turn off the sample all layers option for the mixer brush tool because you can't uh, use it if you have if you have the sample all layers option turned on it will uh, add uh, strange colors uh, because of the adjustment layers so it's good to turn them uh, turn this option off it still works so the, without the uh, sample all layers option turned off or with the sample to all layers to, uh, option turned off you can still use the mixer brush tool but it's better to blend or merge together the background layer and the clouds ray layer that's what I did if you look at the layers panel you can see that's happened uh, so you have to be flexible uh, whenever you work in Photoshop so if you want to keep the adjustments uh, non-destructive uh, non then you have to merge the layers together and use the mixer brush tool so that's all and this is my final result for this quick presentation of how to paint clouds in Photoshop I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I could show you some techniques that you find useful and uh, definitely this tutorial is is an inspiration mainly so it, the technique itself is not difficult the main the most important thing is to get to photoshop and try and practice uh, doing this so spend some time in on it and um try try to do it several times the first time it won't be perfect if you do it for the first time try it at least five times and as i said it's really important to to look for references and get inspired by these amazing forms shapes and colors that you can see in the sky so thanks a lot for your attention i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope i can i will meet in the next episode so see you soon